Hi guys, welcome to episode 5 of my nail therapy series. Today I'm going to be doing the Cinemoral nails. I'm so happy about how this turned out, it's so cute. And I decided to do a voiceover to thoroughly explain what I did. So if you want to see how I did these nails, then keep on watching. So I already took off the gel nails I had before and these are my natural nails, they got really long But the second and third fingernails, they got ripped so I have to put on extensions for those And I'm using a bit to drill off the cuticles and then I'm using a cuticle remover to soften them And then pushing it back and using a nipper to completely remove them and this is so important because if your cuticles are not removed then it can lift up the gel nails so it won't last as long and now my nails last really long like three four weeks so that's really good yeah i'm just buffing it and then wiping off the excess with alcohol and now it's time to put on the tips and i'm just measuring it out oh my god i dropped this right after i filmed it and now i have to like organize it and i was too lazy to do so but anyways i'm using this resin glue i feel like this is better than like regular glue because it's just way stronger and so basically you apply the glue and then um spray the activator and then it just hardens so this is really good like it makes the nails last longer but yeah i'm just filing off any bumpy parts and filing the tip so that it's shaped correctly And then I use a primer and bonder and um, you don't really have to be precise with this, just apply it on the natural nails. Um, so the primer is like a dehydrator for the nails and the bonder it acts like glue and yeah, I love this brand, it works really well. And then I use the IBD Builder Gel for the extensions. This basically is a hard gel and it makes the extensions sturdy. I hate this part though because it takes so long and it gets really hot in the lamp and also you have to cure it for like 2 minutes or like 3 minutes and I'm really glad that my other fingernails are really long because then I don't have to do the rest. So I file the top of the builder gel after it's cured because I want it to be like flat and no bumps and then i apply the g jelly base gel i love this base gel so much it's from korea and it's such a good brand and then i'm taking this like baby pink color for the pinky and this baby blue this is so pretty i feel like this color combo is so pretty and what I like to do is I apply one coat and then I cure it for like three seconds so that like the gel doesn't like move and then I do the rest, you know, I repeat and I do two coats. Sometimes if the color is sheer then I just do three coats but I did two coats for these. And then I'm just doing the design. I found this like cinema roll nail inspo from Pinterest and I thought it was really cute. Like this ribbon design, it's so cute. And then for like this drippy design, I mixed the IBD Builder Gel, which is like thicker, with the color and it made like this really pretty like thick gel and it looks so good and then i'm using a fixer gel to put on the ribbons and the pearls i love this fixer gel it just makes the pearls or like any rhinestones stay on for so long like it never falls off if you do it correctly
And yeah, I'm just continuing the design for the rest of the fingers. Funny thing about this heart, I didn't know it changed colors in the light. So I was so surprised it turned like orange. And so I thought it was permanent. And then I had to paint over the heart. And I didn't really need to do that because the color changes back, but I didn't know and I was so shocked. I was like, why is it orange? But anyways, I got this cinema roll um, nail charm from Amazon. It's so cute. And then I think my thumb is my favorite part of this nail design. Like, it's so cute. And then I put like little candy and like little pearls. And I use my hands a lot, so I didn't want the charms to ever fall off. So I'm using the fixer gel to like cover up the sides and the crazy top coat to cover up the sides. And this really makes the nail stay like it never falls off, even if you like try to take it off. So yeah, it's really good. And that is it for the design. I love it so much. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next nail therapy video.